Hi, this is Steve with Born Again Torinos, and I'm doing a video uh, for my wife in conjunction with her business, thetomatolady.com. And she asked me to make a video on how I make her potting soil. So we put a lot of things in it, and I was going to show you how I mix it up and do it to make it maybe easier for you. I've already done one bale. And I've got it all mixed up and everything, but I, I, in this size pool, I put in two bales, two compressed bales. And this is, I'll show you what they look like. And it weighs a ton. You can see there, 60 pound. This has mycorrhizae in it, which is a microorganism, which is present in all real soil. And surprisingly enough, potting soil has no soil in it so we'll add it Now I break it up because it's usually got clumps in it, sometimes harder than others. So break up your clumps and sticks. You'll see sticks of varying sizes. Here's a piece of a branch. So there's, you can see uh, perlite in there. get those big clumps they're really really easy to break up usually except when I started this spring and they were frozen all right now now we start adding the amendments First thing I'm going to add is steamed fish bone meal. And we use the steam because it breaks down faster. The regular bone meal might not break down in time. And your measuring amounts are going to vary. So I'm not going to give you measured amounts of what I use. So you'll have to know by how much your compressed bale or regular bale is, how much potting soil you use it and then figure it accordingly and it's this steamed fish bone meal stinks to high heaven you're making some kind of putrid cake that's what it smells like and all the cats will be coming from around the neighborhood All right, next. I don't know if you can see this. This is alfalfa. And we'll just do this for all of our amendments. Hmm, felt like Bob Ross there for a second. We'll make a happy little putrid pile of soil. No, oh, but the alfalfa actually smells good. Okay, next. Kelp. With kelp, I can't smell anything. And 
next Epsom salt Lastly, this is our fertilizer. This is worm castings. So that'll be our organic fertilizer. So worm poop. And it, it should smell like soil. So it has no bad smell at all. So I'm finally adding what will help this become soil. Now, the fun part, we mix it up, break up any of these little hard little um, balls of, of uh, worm casting so they can be spread out because they will turn rock hard. Alright, let me dig in, mix it. And you'll see it just looks like it just disappears like you did nothing but you did this is the easiest way we've found to mix we've tried everything it seems this was the most successful and easy you'll still run into sticks and clumps Yeah, that's a big one. And working on a table that, at a higher level saves your back. Instead of on the ground. Whoop, see? A hidden clump. See, this pool took two compressed bales, but you can get the smaller pools, and everybody does the volume we do. All right, that is it. This potting soil is ready. If you have any questions, you can go to my wife's youtube channel just look for the tomato lady and her website is the tomato lady.com and that'll be it this is this is steve with born again torinos and i'll talk to you later